If you're looking for a utility stitch to help hold things together really well on the Faf Creative icon, you're looking for stitch number two. And I always think if it's the second stitch on the main menu after the straight stitch, it's pretty important. This is a stretch triple straight stitch. And there's also stitch number eight is the stretch triple zigzag. And I'm going to show you both. But before I do, I want to show you that I not only use it to reinforce things, I sometimes use it decoratively. Now on our Fof Stitching Cosmos online course, I wanted to show you that this stitch right along here. Now this is one of our bias uh, stitched techniques along our curved blocks is I used orange thread to kind of give it a little extra uh, dimension around that particular curve. And instead of using thicker thread and then needing a top stitch needle, all I had to do was pick stitch number two. I do that actually quite a bit. This was a block that we taught how to do your own paper piecing and create your own pattern. Not as hard as it seems. But when I was done, this orange, red, and yellow grouping was very kind of boring. And it needed some separation. I needed to do some, what I would call, eyeliner type finish. I needed to stitch some darker thread to define each of those areas. Well, a single line of stitching wouldn't do very much, but all I had to do was pick the triple straight stitch and it totally did the job for me as I accentuated each of those areas. I want you to see how cool this stitch is out. So when you sew, all you're gonna get is two stitches forward and one stitch back. And that would equal three stitches. The, also the default setting for stitch length on this machine is like 4.0 stitch length. Uh, yes, 4.0. So it's really long if you just use it at the default setting. Uh, you could, uh, I did make it a little closer together when I was going around those tighter curves when I was doing this. But take a look. You can turn any of your threads that you have in your collection right now into a much thicker thread. Now, especially fun if you have variegated thread. Again, one of my favorites to do. But I also want to show you one other thing, and it's going to involve doing the zigzag. And that was stitch number eight. So I'm going to just sew the zigzag out. Um, it's fairly wide, but you can make it wider and you can make it longer. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the stitch length a ways and then also maybe make it a little wider as well. Okay, so I'm like 7.5 wide and 9.0 long. Now, if those numbers don't make any sense to you, which sometimes I do find myself very visual, and here's what I want to show you. So number one, that's a pretty cool stitch. Uh, the little extra stitch you see here is just because I changed the length um, when I was in the middle of a probably a back stroke. So you do have to kind of watch for that, but look how amazingly bold that stitch is. So here's the settings that I changed it up to 7.5 and nine, just random numbers there. But what I wanted to do was show you that when you compare what you get on the fabric to what you see on the screen, it is actual size. Did you know that? So when you make a stitch wider, what you see here is what you're going to get on your fabric. So sometimes I, I try to tell students, just don't worry about the numbers, keep an eye on the screen and if you like the look as it's going longer or shorter, narrower or wider, if you like this, you're gonna love it even more once you stitch it out.